How good is my wave wave with king? I don't wave dash with king. I mean, you, you'll see maybe a king main wave dash for style points at some point, but uh, there's really no utility to it. Let's beat up on poor Shaheen. Uh, arena, of course. Get ready for the next battle. So you choose left or right side randomly. No, there, there's nothing random <laughs> about the side I play on. I can assure you. It's just that certain characters I prefer to play on player one, and certain characters I prefer to play on player two. Nice blue sparks, though. Uh, Papa, I'm so happy you like my guides, dude. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, wait, we do the drop kick by pressing three. Well, that's not a drop kick, but okay. how long it took me to get decent at this game. Dude, forever. I started getting really decent during uh, Tekken 7, I would say. Even during Tag 2, I was just not very good, you know. Struggled a lot in green ranks. Uh, I made it, eventually I made it to orange ranks, but I was not a very strong player. I was a Mishima player with very little patience who liked to do electrics and just do house sweeps, you know. Uh, that's a lot of Mishima players. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you want to become a really good Mishima player, you, you have to learn Tekken. But we all just want to do shit, right? Because it's fun to do, but if you want to be really serious about the game, you re really got to evaluate what you're doing at all times. And that's not something I was doing. I was just like, uh, do 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 that's fun. Uh, hell sweep, hell sweep, hell sweep. Uh, can't really play like that, you know, if you want to if you want to win a lot or be be very effective. Oh, nice break. Show that. Oh, good one. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm fighting the homeland. Huh? He sidestepped. Okay. Ducks doesn't want to eat giant swing obviously at the wall here. Nice back dash. Okay, into the wall he goes, and I have rage. Ten percent increase in damage means dead. I think you would have survived had I, had I not been in rage there. This is a very strong low. Nice. Muscle Buster. This guy has good movement. It's a counter hit. Nice patience. Shining Wizard. If you can execute that move very quickly, close to the opponent, catches a lot of people off guard. And they will mistake it for a giant swing. And go for a one break. Step down for two. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Good stuff. With with punish. I'm gonna chain throw this poor bastard. He did not break it. Yeah, there's no way he gets the right break there. Everyone goes for King's Bridge there. Well done. Well done. Almost got a nice whiff punish there. Yeah, throw break. You see the back dash? This guy probably had a decent rank, I think, in Tekken 7. Nice break on Tombstone. Nice break. 
It's a pretty sweaty player, actually. Nice block. No duck. Big counter it. We get the elbow drop. No break. Nice. Bro is not using Tekken 8 late. No, this is a Tekken 7 player. Yeah. Oh, he has more prowess than me. This is a mighty ruler rank. At least, mighty ruler. So that's why he's playing so well. Lee is not his main. Keep throwing. Throws are unbelievably strong. Unbelievably strong. Nice whiff punish, buddy. Nice punish. Nice break. Tombstone. Ay ay ay. Jackknife power bomb. Round three. Fight. Nice break. Nice. Very nice. Bottom. Nice one. You win. No, no, he has, that was a strong lead, dude. That was a strong lead. Get ready for the next battle. Raider, I'm really happy you like the videos, dude. Thanks. Can't break froze. Dude, he broke a lot of froze, dude. He broke a lot of froze. T to break all of these froze, you need <laughs> really good fro breaks, man. Don't believe for one second this shit is easy, dude. You're juggling a one break. 1 plus 2 break, but look the same, and then add the 2 breaks. And any throw he hits does a fuck ton of damage. And, and you know, if he presses into me, he can't break the throws. On reaction, right? So don't think this is easy, yeah. Wait, what, what is King's wall combo in this game? Oh, Neo. Yeah, a anytime I play, I, I'm, I always analyze the opponent, as you should be doing as well. What is he doing? What are his patterns? How do I counter this? And the goal is, and I know that even if I lose two rounds, I don't get too nervous. Because I'm like, okay, he's showing me what he's doing. I just lo took- I lost two rounds. Now can I adapt to this? And I try something new, third round. So... Yeah, always trying, you know... Be a bit... Uh, Open-minded, I guess. And not uh, doing the same thing over and over. That does help.
That's blue spark. And suddenly it does 45 instead of 40. And looks exactly like the giant swing, right? Is my matchmaking bugged? Get ready for the next battle. Uh, I'm gonna play some Yoshi. He, he looks really cool in this game, so I'm gonna- I'm, I am gonna play some Yoshi. Yeah. I can pause and unpause. Okay, I didn't know. Thanks. Deutschland? Get ready for the next battle. I, I would call Jack an intermediate character. I, I can't say he's a beginner character, but if you think he's cool, play him. Okay, Broken Mama. Round one. Fight. The, he's also not a June main. That's not a June main. So we'll see how good he is. We get a ground throw there. Gonna... We're gonna chest bump because this time we actually have the bigger titties. Oh. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Punish. He fucking rage hurts. My my mistake. I'm an idiot. I thought he was going to be a, a stronger player, but he seems to be throwing just strings. So, so he's going to Rage Art. As soon as Rage is available, he's going to Rage Art. Yeah. My bad. That was stupid. Okay. Right. Jesus, the connection. So we chest bump, he panics, he panics, there it is, 13 frame projectile, uh, that's again, my bad, my bad, he does lows over and over to get out of trouble, okay, I should have expected the uh, lag, I guess, that was reactable, oh, oh, it's safe, it's safe, right, I remember now, it's safe. He's gonna duck now. No, heat burst. 13 frame start up. I can't heat burst back. We'll do that. And now check into mid. And there's the rage art. And this is a punish. Did you see the big white flash? That's a punish. Guaranteed. He can't break the throw. If it punishes a rage art. Oh, okay. Ay, 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 that's plus. He's gonna panic now and probably heat burst again. Yeah. Uh, into heat smash. I just, just block here. She, let her do that. That's not punishable. We're gonna chest bump into pressure. He's gonna eat that, yeah. Because there he wants to do a low, an evasive low. Hop kick. Take, take. I take my turn. He blocked. Holy lag. Holy lag. And take your Oki after a tombstone. We chest bump, and he's gonna heat burst again. <sighs> this is insufferable. Like, June is already annoying enough, but what is happening? What is this guy's router doing? 
Okay, heat smash. No heat smash. All plan. All according to plan. Uh, yeah. We're not doing that again. No, I'm not rematching that, no. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I know her pick rate is gonna go up. Will you shut up, Hellas No, Pope fuck you. When word gets out, she's super busted. Three minutes. Oh, okay. We can duck that. Oh, throw. Okay. Four two or something? No. Is that completely safe? So we got a low parry, but okay. That's one hell of a knowledge check. It's gonna projectile. Yo, Midnight Madman, thanks for the tier one. And Jalod, thanks for the tier one. Thanks, boys. Okay. Drop my giant swing. Shit happens. Okie now. Oh. Chest bump into tombstone. We can catch him now with 4 to 1 if he does uh, a quick stun. And we tombstone. Uh, madman. Uh, thanks again, dude. Thanks again. Will you shut up, group? No, you shut up, for fuck's sake. We na need him at the wall. Can armor. He presses a lot, so... Ugh, and he throws. That's the one thing that beats muscle armor. Otherwise, muscle armor is actually very strong against this sort of mash. RKO, unbreakable. RKO, unbreakable. Get ready for the next battle. And he's done. Okay. What do I mean unbreakable? I mean unbreakable. Can't break this from. Yeah, unbreakable. Very punishable, though. Uh, like any other throw. If you duck it, you get to launch king. Yeah, that's how it works. It's not a mid. It's not an unbreakable mid throw. Yeah. This guy... This is not his main. He has a lot of prowess, so he's probably a 10 Ryu, I think. Might be a viewer. Nice, bro. Good back, back one to a tombstone. Go for low Oki option. Nice roll. Ay, 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 jackknife powerbomb. If you get hit by that, it's like 40%. 40%.
extremely aggressive king player here. Nice break. Muscle Buster. Back turn free. Ah, nice roll. We did the same attack. No. Yeah, when you do muscle armor, he his muscles go fucking gigantic when he's flexing, and he goes red. Yeah. It's to indicate to the opponent that he's using armor. Blue Spark Giant Swing. Blue Spark Shining Wizard. Unfortunately, he was ahead of me there. Nice throw. Two stone. Go for wake up again. He rolls again. He likes to roll on the ground. Nice rage art setup. I see a lot of people do this. Safe on block attack into rage art. That's a lot of damage. I know. Okay. Round two. Fight. He hot kicks there. Okay. This guy's pretty party. No. Calm down, my friend. Oh no. Yeah. They, oh. Everyone is wait, 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 waiting for the reverse. Nice break! Clean break. Round four. Fight. This guy's got some good he's got some good throw breaks. Nice hop kick. Nice block, but why didn't you punish? Hey, blue spark giant swing. You better tech this shit. He does. Super well played. Frog Lug. Sick. Sick king.
Get ready for the next battle. Which character you like playing in Tekken 8? Oh, but I didn't like in Tekken 7. I mean, I played all of these characters in Tekken 7. But uh, Jin, I like in 7, but not in 8. So him I'm dropping completely. But you'll see me play... I'll probably gonna... I'm gonna pick up some Yoshi. He's too cool in Tekken 8 to not play him. So I'm gonna play Yoshi. Strongest character in the game. I think it's June or Jack or Azucena. Uh, Azucena is all about one move being super broken. While running 3-2 is just beyond broken. Beyond broken. It's probably the best attack in the game, I think. What makes Reyna hard? Uh, what makes Reyna hard? Why does that sound so good? Um, I don't know. I, I have videos on the topic. I have videos on the topic. Watch my Reyna in-depth guide on YouTube. Oh, that combos. Is it bugged again, or...? <laughs> Any Feng matches? Um... Might play him a bit, but, you know, not a huge, not a gigantic fa fan of Feng. God, how many Ravens today? Bottom four pick rate, but you you wouldn't uh, think he is. Yeah, well, when you watch my uh, streams, at least when I play ranked early morning on work days, suddenly you see the, the rarest characters. Uh, so this is most like this is a returning Tekken player from Tekken Seven. And he was pr probably a high rank in Tekken Seven, and he played Master Raven. Uh, I'm willing to bet money on it. You always fight Raymond. He's bottom four popularity, dude. We'll see how much he mashes. Oh, did we change the Moonsault notation? How do I moonsault? Chest bone. You can only moonsault from backwards now. Oh shit, okay. I did not know that. We both feet smashed, but of course the jackknife power bomb wins. Oh, nice break, or maybe mashing? Don't know. Really want to throw this bomb? Here we go. Can we catch him? Ah, I dropped it. It's kind of strict actually doing the forward two there. Way tombstone again. I'm not sure this man is gonna want a rematch. Were you a wrestling fan growing up? Oh, of course I was. Of course I was. Loved, uh... Stone... Yeah, the Raven players don't like when they lose. I uh, love the Stone Cold, Triple H, uh, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker. Um... Road Warriors. Uh, God, I have so, so many wrestlers I like. So many of them. Kane. Who didn't like Kane? 
<laughs> the Hardy Boys I fucking loved. Um, Rick Rude. Rick Rude. So fucking cool. Hulk Hogan. Macho Man. I'm so old, you know. I grew up, when I grew up, you know, WCW was still a thing. You know, when I grew up, I saw Hulk Hogan pasta commercials. You know, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, I saw wrestling. But you guys see today, it's, it's not the wrestling I grew up with. You guys have a watered down version. Nice. Oh, it's Chloro. Okay. This guy. Is this the guy I played against before? Is this the same guy? Because he. This is also not a lead main, I think. His prowess is really high. <laughs> Blue spark into the fucking wall. Good throw breaks, buddy. Down for four. That will connect unless they stay perfectly still on the ground. If they do anything outside of laying perfectly still, you get a down for four there. Did, did someone sub? Uh, tell Jit. Thanks for a prime. Thanks. Round one. Fight. That's rough. My my friend here is pressing a lot of buttons. Deathstroke, thanks for nine months. Really appreciate it. Thank you. That's a little tech trap. Ducks froze. Okay. That's why we don't duck froze. We get we get power bombed if we duck froze. Get ready for the next battle. Uh, of course I liked Eddie Guerrero. It was not one of my favorite wrestlers, but 
Uh, it was impossible to dislike. Is King's King's wall grab worth doing? Not in my opinion. It's better to go for a, a ground game setup, Oki, um, or go for jabs into ground throw attempt, which is a 50-50. Oh, nice, Reina. That's a pretty cool outfit, actually. If he doesn't hit confirm that. Oh, he mixes. He mixes. Well played, well played. It's gonna be a decent rain, most likely. Oh, we have throw breaks. Yeah. Strong player. Ooh, he broke an instant shining wizard. And blocks the follow-up there. Yeah, this is a very strong player. Yeah, this is a very strong player. Round two. Fight. Can't let him get away with me. Nice one. Nice one. Nope. That's a counter it, so suddenly very hard to break. And this is a tombstone. Hey, thanks, boys. Thanks. Round one. Fight. I knew exactly how how he would defend, so I could link all of that. Get ready for the next battle.
Are orange ranks good? Uh, I would say if you've hit, if you've hit red ranks, it's it's impressive, especially with certain characters. Orange ranks, you're still you know, still a little bit of a. It, I would say you're firmly an intermediate if you make it to red. Yeah. We're getting a patch tomorrow. Yeah, bug fix though. It's not a balance patch. Bug fix. Okay, is it fucked again or? King removed from the game tomorrow. But you guys hate every character. If it's not King, you hate Azucena, you hate Victor, you hate Devil Jin, you hate Dragonov, you hate Paul. Is there a character you like or Is is there a character you like? I'm just wondering. Oof. Sick combo. Oh, that's a heating engine. Right? Is it just me or is my search just bugging constantly? I feel like it's just bugging all the time. Fuck. It's just it's just bugging all the time. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah. This combo's pretty hard actually. Nice blue spark. Nice. Reina Seiri or Mighty Ruler. Of you, if you reach Mighty Ruler with Reina, what, what do you want me to say? No, that you suck or what? Of course it's impressive, and you know it's impressive. What does Blue Spark mean? Uh, perfect input. Which is pretty hard to do on Shining Wizard. While running attack. It isn't impressive. I feel like you guys are so elitist and out of touch sometimes. I saw a post on Tech and Reddit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to restart completely here. I saw a post on Tech and Reddit by a player who's been playing for 17 years. And he finally made it out of orange ranks after 17 years. And I'm guessing many of you are going to laugh at that, but those are the players you guys just don't see. I think you guys get too blinded watching all of the content creators and top players stream, but you you just assume that everyone makes it to Mighty Ruler. Everyone becomes a Tekken God rank. And it's statistically actually a tiny, tiny, tiny minority that managed to do that. So no, getting into red ranks or is very impressive. Getting to Mighty Ruler is super fucking impressive. It's super fucking impressive. So... Gotta stop being so fucking elitist with the ranks, I feel. Most people will, you know, oh, someone's been playing for 20 years, that must mean they're a Tekken God Omega. No, some people play for 20 years and they are in green ranks. 
right? Round one. Fight. How many Lees? How many Lees? Jesus fucking Christ, do Lees grow on trees? You have a guaranteed uh, turnbuckle elbow drop from the top ropes there. Guaranteed. I whiffed. Shit. I whiffed. And we got the taunt. So this is our sniper. That's a counter throw. Shining wizard. Down free. Ali kick. Round four. Fight. No punish on Atlas Hammer. A king player that can throw break. Always clues you in that oh my god, that guy's a beast. No break on giant swing, that's a big problem. Will he tech? No tech, so he is basically fucked. Well, he kip, kip, waits for me to run in and does a kip up, that's kind of cute. Okay, stay on the ground, sir. Give me your legs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that's Destroyer. And he does not want to play anymore. Battle. Does a lot of taunts after taking a round, and then he's just fucking bitch made. Always like this. If someone key charges or taunts or tea bags, you know it's a uh, saltiest fucking bitch on the internet, pretty much. As soon as someone starts key charging, you know that they have, you know, they have the mental strength of a fucking hamster with brain cancer. It's just, yeah. Oh, Brian, that's cool. Round one. Fight. Immediate snake edge. Okay, caught me a bit off guard there. Okay. I block a lot because this guy seems a bit willing to throw big moves. A bit crazy. Do we play it super careful? Okay. I smell a snake edge. Muscle buster. Back turn. Three. Ah, he gets away. Turn swing. We go under. If he tries to throw that type of keep out, we, we just go under. King's Bridge. Capital. Capital is not bad there. Most people roll away from King's Bridge. How do you get out of that? That's a 1 plus 2 break. King's Bridge. Okay. Okay. 
That's very hard to do. Oh my god, what a chat. He rematches. You love to see it. Drops the combo. Okay. The orbital again. Okay, okay, now it's only orbitals. <gasps> ah! Thought it was gonna whiff. Okay, we needed to whiff cleanly. But it's very hard to whiff punish orbital. It's better here to actually jab check Brian to play like this. You jab check them. And you will float him out of the orbital. And actually, your jab will recover in time to block a snake edge. So this type of Ryan, you can, you can quite cleanly jab check like this. If he orbitals, I float him. But if he does a snake edge, I'll uh, I'll block it in time. Now, he's being smart by crouching. Unfortunately, I have crouch throws. Oh. Well, again, check. Check him. Rage art. And again, this is a punish. He can't break this way. Nice, back to one. Is this Einstein playing? This is another one of those players where it's like, is he incredibly good or is he incredibly shit? Really hard to tell. Yeah. So a heat burst you can of course punish on with. How do you whiff that? Uh, you can easily whiff a heat burst. And if you do, like, you're, you're fucked. You are fucked. Oh my god, with four bars. Do you think Huarang is strong? He's strong, yeah. Of course he's strong. And a heat is so good with heat. Why do you hate Jin? Uh, who said I hate Jin? I just don't like playing him. I don't like playing Tekken 8 Jin. It doesn't mean I hate him. Uh, here and there. You can start out with Devil Jin, even though he's really difficult. I started out with Kazuya and he's, you know, one of the hardest to play, so... I would just go with the character you think is cool. You know, 
If it feels rewarding to you to play that character, go for it. But just know that if you play Kazuya, you're gonna take a lot of losses. Yeah. You're gonna take a lot of losses. Get ready for the next it's, you know, in a game with like 11,000 attacks, it helps to play a character that has, you know, a Street Fighter style EXDP. Like Devil Jin's uh, Samsara, up four. So you don't have to learn every single matchup in the game. You had a you have an invincible turn stealing move. Helps a ton. Whereas if you play Kazuya, you only rely on traditional defense, which is ducking a high, punishing accordingly, sidestepping, blocking until something is unsafe, and then you punish. And now you take your turn. But it's it's super hard to do that in a game like this. Due to the sheer complexity of a character. So now we're gonna chest bump. Because we have a bigger tits. So we win. Oh no. Chest bump? I would like you to feel my stiff nipples. No? Okay. No. <gasps> I, I blocked that. That's unsafe. Okay. Ah! Okay, so chest bump is is huge for Kazuya. Oh, oh for King, I mean. Uh, it's a win on... Okay. It's a win on block, and it's a win on hit. No matter what, you, you get a throw attempt. So they have to duck, basically. Or break the throw. I'll play. Round three. Fight. Ah! That was bad. Okay, we whiff punish. Take a down for four. I'm gonna try capital. No. No. So if, if someone loves to mash, king down 1-2 is super good. Super good. So, just like this. Anything that starts with a crouch jab is just always going to be a strong panic button. He's minus. So you try king's bridge. I didn't break it. So now, wake up. Most likely he's going to back roll. So I'm gonna do a capital. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> he had enough. Uh, Zitamus, fa thanks for resubbing. Thank you. Yeah, May Link, I'm trying to explain everything I'm doing, you know, and if, if anyone's interested in King. There are so many good flowcharts and setups that you can learn, but it just makes your life so much easier. So much easier. Woo! This is King's worst matchup, by the way. Worst matchup. She hugs the floor, which makes my... Uh, anytime she presses a button, she beats Rose, pretty much. So we... We can't really throw. And I lack deep hitting mids that, that hits towards the ground. So it's just, it's a very problematic matchup for King. So we'll see what we can do. But this guy is not mashing too much. If he doesn't, I can't throw, of course. He's, he's playing a very nice Xiaoyu here. Most Shayus you encounter will never stop pressing buttons. They'll never stop pressing buttons. Okay, we take that. I'll actually push him towards the wall here, I think. Unbreakable.
Nice dog. Ai, ai, ai. This is bad. Throw breaks. Okay. Boop. Check her. Chest bump into tombstone. He ducks. So I'm gonna check with a mid instead. If they start ducking your setups for throws, check, keep checking, just elbow them to the back of the head until they stand back up again, and that's when you throw. Snake Edge. So again, Snake Edge is very viable for Xiaoyu because no one knows the animation. She's one of the least played characters in the game. Tombstone. He's gonna quick stand into an attack. This is just mash from me. Down one two into down one two. Because I knew he was he wasn't gonna respect shit. Just down one two, down one two, down one two. Uh counter spell, thanks for the prime man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no one wants to play against me. This bigotry. I don't think I've ever had so many cancels. Discriminating against wrestlers. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Wi-Fi, let's go. Come on. Get ready for the next but why would you hate King? He's so cool. He's so wholesome. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! It's Victor! Victor Chevalier! Il a un baguette et un couteau. Oh! Eesh! Jaguar step interrupts me. Oh, take the punish. Giant swing. I drop the giant swing, but we take the Boston crap. Ford free is so strong here, you see? Clips him grounded and hits him back turned if he stands back up. Oh, he's almost dead. So we're gonna. Oh, he's mashing. Big frames. Ali kicks. That sounds safe. Big counter it. Does not duck. No, you may not do a low there, my friend. Nice one. <gasps> that is so strong. This guy ducks a lot. Duck. Yeah, so we check with down for one, right? To stop them from ducking. So again, we're gonna forward free. He could be dead here. He's dead. So that's a quick stand into back turn. So my foot goes goes up his ass. Tombstone. Ah, nice break. That's a one break. Well done. Punish. Capital. <gasps> ay ay ay. Well done. Blue spark giant swing. This is gonna hurt my friend. King Airlines. Fasten your seat belt. Here's the heat burst. We're gonna heat burst back! That's a fast, fast heat smash. Unbreakable RKO. Here we go. So when King, when you're in heat with King, if you Jaguar sprint forward 3 4, you have armor. So you'll go through attacks and then you can threaten. Uh, unbreakable RKO for massive damage that they can duck. I'm almost losing motivation to do this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Did he plug as well? Or did he cancel into plug? True combo, 50-50 mix-up because my game just died. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, this is kind of bitchy, not gonna lie, this is kind of bitchy. Get ready for the next battle. Oh my god, Lee, again? What the fuck? And it's a tea drinking Lee. I'm gonna puke. Ah, 
Nice. <gasps> okay, he jumps all the time. This guy likes jumping. He ducks. Take the punish. So again, I'm using my elbow down for the one to make him respect me. So not crouch. He had died had he finished that string. Chest bump into tombstone. This is probably my favorite flow chart with King. I'm gonna try a sidestep. And then we fuck him up the ass. Oh, right, that's minus 13 now. Nice break. Uh, capital. He blocks. Ay, yay, yay, good one. Panic. Do you know the break, my good friend? I hope you do. You really have to break this, otherwise it really, really hurts. And your daddy is very disappointed. There we go. Blue spark. Panic button. You can't punish this, and you kind of have to. Rolling death cradle. We get an interesting wake up here as well. Ah, was hoping for him to stay on the ground. He's gonna duck. So, elbow kills. No! Oh, we got a Chad. Giga Chad detected. He took all of that and he still rematched. Now this this is the attitude we like. Nice one. Oh, good. Punish. Tombstone. That was a counter it, so no break. You gotta try an Atlas Hammer. Oh! Counter it! Oh, he was too far away. I'm also gonna heat. And he eats the jackhammer, and that's just dead. That is just dead. Nice duck. Nice duck. Oh! Ah, counter it. Well done. <gasps> Did not duck. I'm surprised. Ah, I couldn't low parry. Fuck. Well played. Ducks. Good counter it. Good one. <gasps> okay. Oh, clean ass break, my friend. This guy's good. Oh, we blazing kick. Not bad at all. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <sighs> Fuck, sick. Might lose a match here. Oi, oi, oi. 
Did not expect him to do that. Nice break. No, can't do that. Nice duck. Super well played. And thanks for staying. What is chest bump good for? Oh, but there's a good reason King has that attack. It's to set up throws. If you do this, unblock, it's plus three. Meaning, any throw is uninterruptible. It's plus three for a reason. That means throws, you know, they come out at 12 frames or faster. It's uninterruptible. He can't hit me out of it. Right? So you get... And on hit, it's even more, more advantage. It's plus seven. So this is a move where as long as it connects on your opponent in any shape or form, you can set up a throw. But they can beat your throw, obviously, by breaking the throw or crouching. But cr crouching against king is insanely risky due to stuff like this, right? Or this. So preferably, you want to learn to break throws. Du ducking king's throws is never a good idea. Like, you can do it if you're desperate, but, uh, yeah, but damage he gets if he clips you with a mid is, uh, it's pretty high. And also, he can threaten you with, uh, cr crouching throws, like the pedigree, that's a heat engager. And those throws are unbreakable now. So it's a new thing with Tekken 8, crouch throws, you can't break them. Hey, Darkfist, I'm happy you like the content, man. Oh <laughs> man, it's another arena. <gasps> okay. Nice. What controller do you use? Razer Pantera. I've been playing on it for like six years. Oh. Damn, dude, Dark Fist, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, sir. Thanks for helping out. <gasps> Goosh? This is laggy as fuck. Get up kick. No, thank you, man. It's my pleasure. Okay. It's punishable. Nice side stuff. Oh. Old school king players, they can jab into Shining Wizard in a combo. But that's old school king from Tekken 5. So it's like, what, 18 years ago? Plus? 18, 19 years ago. Oh. So an old school, ah uh, yeah, it's too laggy. I, just, I wanted to show a cool combo, but too laggy. Dude, improvise 1500 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I think that, that's like an hour and 15 minutes of King. So I think I'm gonna end the King section there. But hopefully some good advice on, on how to play him. It's a really fun character. I don't think I've had that many cancels. Not that many dodges on rematches in Tekken 8 so far. I get that a lot of people dislike the character, but King is not as easy as uh, people think. 
you kind of need pretty strong mind games to get those throws going. And again, you, you might find him cheap, but try playing king, right? And when and then you'll go up against characters like this or this or this or this or this or this or this and, and good luck throwing them have fun I, if you think it it's easy when you want a giant swing which is already a pretty technical input and this character is in your face going <laughs> good luck like, you, you'll, you'll understand pretty quickly, but it's not as easy as you think. It's it's just not as easy as you think. Oh, did I wake you up? Sorry, Axe. Go back to sleep. 